pretty. <clears throat> what do we got there? Okay, there's enough to tie it there. I have enough to tie it right here. Okay. Radio. Do you want me to tie this up here? No. Check that out. Oh, it's perfect. Oh, look at him. Oh, there you go. <laughs> They're no better than I ever jumped. Oh. oh. And scrap. All right, folks. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are making sure the top of the building is still pretty level from wall to wall. And guess what? So far we've checked three places. From the back wall, we've checked seven feet apart in three spots, and it's still about as perfect as it could be for this building sitting here for this long. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like here, folks. I'll show you how that looks. We're just using a string across there. We're checking with a line level. I did check with a water slash laser uh, it's a water level but it's digital uh our buddy bert skelton sent us to us when we we're doing the basement checked it and it's bang on too but uh we figured we would just put strings across there because we're going to want them across anyways and i'll show you just how this is looking all right so i think you can see this string up here correct that is at the top of the wall man i hope you can see that string yeah it should be showing up it's tied around the top of that board it runs across here and it's tied on to the top of this wall, that board as well. I think you can see that up there perhaps. Sure hope you can. We're gonna follow it back here and we are going to go up this ladder and I'm gonna show you how it looks here. Let me climb up here. So 
so that is how it's looking right there. I hope you can see that. Pretty close, I think. Top that side, yeah, I don't know. Anyways, it's 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 about as it's about as level as you're gonna get it, I think. This is 32 feet wide, so now we are going to. I'm gonna pass this to Heather, and I'm gonna take this level off here. Here you go, babe. Thank you. So I'm gonna take the level off this string, and I'm gonna put it on the one behind me, and we're gonna check it as well. So I'm gonna back up here. I did check these already, but I just wanna show you folks. I know they are, uh, they are really good. I am impressed. See, I thought this building, I thought the posts were going up and down, but I guess they weren't at all. I guess they stayed put. So that is a good sign. I didn't wanna build something and then find out that it heaves really bad. Now, can you see, it's on the top of the wall over there. I'll wiggle this a bit so you can see it there, see it moving? And then it's on the top of the wall over here. I'll wiggle that again, you can see that moving. And then if Heather passes me the camera here, I'll wiggle that again, you can keep seeing that there. There we go, thank you babe. And you can see that once it settles here, boom, it is pretty close. If that thing would stop, relax there fella, relax. Just off, just a little wee bit, right? I don't know if that makes, no, that don't make any difference. Stop. Right there. I hope that is showing up. I hope the bubble's showing up. I'm gonna get up here, see if I can get a better shot looking down on it. Not saying I will. I don't know if that's any better. Or if you just see my belly button, I'm not sure. But anyways, there we go. That's how it's looking there. So I'm gonna pass this back to Heather. We're gonna try the third string here. Pop this off. Boom. I'm gonna turn my light around so Heather's gonna to wanna to come to the side here. They're not staring at my back. My back fat. Hm. That's gonna lean a little bit there, I'm sure. Oh yeah, that's gonna be. Not the most stable. Not the most stable ladder to stand on right now, but it'll work fine. So we're in the center. Stop. Now if you look, see, it's on the top of that wall, I'll wiggle it, see it bouncing. And if you look over here, you'll see it's on the top of the wall as well. See it bouncing. I'm gonna stop that just like that. I'm gonna get Heather to hand me the camera and I'm gonna see if I can show you that as well here. I'm gonna step down here and I will show you that. Uh, I can't even see it. I hope you can see it, folks. I hope that's showing up. Pretty close. I would say we're good. So that would be eight. That would be down 16 feet. So I just have to go another four feet, put a string across there. Then that'll be our 20 feet. And then we'll know this section is nice and straight. So we'll drop a, we'll measure down. That's the highest part of the ground there. If you can look, see there's not, there's not much space under those. But since the ground slopes so much, look at the space we got there. Because the ground does a curvature of this, heads down into the ravine. So we gotta bring in some fill and build that up. Uh, so anyways, what we're gonna do is we're gonna measure over there to the ground and we're gonna measure the center here. We're gonna build that up just, you know, where we figure the concrete's gonna be. We're gonna build this up with some gravel and put a concrete pier there. We're gonna build some forms. We've gotta cut a log first, mill some two by eights, uh, cut, a, cut some forms and do that and pour some concrete. So we got our three strings up. We have one more string to go right, Heather, and then we're going to measure the distance from there to the ground. We're gonna find the spot where the ground is the highest, and then we have to build everything up to that. And that corner over there is the highest spot, so we're gonna measure from there down. We're gonna see what we have, and then we're gonna measure from these strings down, and then we know what we have to build that up at. So, and anyway, I'm just glad that that building did not move 
at all. It is still as level as it was the day we put it in. Now it may not be, now this wall here, they may not be this way, but at least they're not up and down. And that's what I was worried about. The he's sideways a little bit, I can always ratchet strap that in before I do anything, before I put the top beams on. What I was worried about though, was these posts being driven up and down from frost. If they did go up and down, they're coming back right down where they're supposed to be, so I'm not concerned. Usually when they heave, they never ever come back down and set exactly where they were. The frost usually freezes to the posts. They pick the post up, and then when it melts, you get sand and water running underneath the posts, so the posts never come back down to where they were before exactly. But this seems like it's sitting pretty level. Oh, so I never showed you this either, folks. This is how this is looking now. So we went at it and we cleaned all this up. Uh, we cleaned all inside the building. Cleaned over here as well. I just backed this uh, ATV with our log trailer in there because I have that solar panel charging that battery that runs our winch. So uh, yeah, I got these snowmobiles sitting here. I ended up getting rid of those snowmobiles a while back. The guy who was talking about coming and getting them Sunday. So, I'm not sure how much time we're going to have on this today because it is Friday and we want to go get some bags of concrete so we can do our forms this weekend. And we're going to do some milling as well if the weather is nice. But, anyways, we're going to put one more string across the top and it will determine whether we are level or not. The front, I'm not concerned if they're off a little bit. I can always shim those. I could shim those as well too, but so far folks, it's looking good. They're not, they're not heaved at all. And I like that. Alrighty, we got our third, fourth string up in fact, <laughs> but it's actually our only third one because see here, um, that one back here is to determine the back wall, whether it was level or not. So we put one up here then we came from that post. We come over seven feet because that's our first pier. Seven, 14, 21 feet. So that is at the top of the wall. Follow it across here, I don't wanna lose you. That's the string line, that's the level, I mean the line level. And, not sure if you can see that, but it's level. But we're gonna run across here. I'm gonna show you it's at the top of the wall here as well. That's at the top of the wall. And then we're going to come back here and you're gonna see that this has not moved at all. I'm gonna move this over here. Where is that again? Right there, okay. If I don't fall off the ladder, that would be even better. That is where that is sitting. Yeah, so across to the top of the wall, right there, uh, back to the level, and then across to the wall over there. So at least over half the building is still level on top of the wall, the way we built it when we put it up. How many years ago, Heather? Four years now? So it's that four years here, folks, with no roof on it. And we've been driving around this, we've been working around this, so we've driven the frost down. And if it's moved, it's come right back to normal. I'm pretty happy with that. So that's probably it for now, folks. I think Heather and I is probably going to go get our concrete before the store closes right. Yes. Because it's going to close. I just yeah, wanted to show you. What's that? And it's not open on the weekend and we want it for Yes. The oh, you still have stain on your shirt. I do, it's from staining the... Uh from the deck, that's your yep. work shirt. That's, that is a work shirt. Good. Alrighty, so we are going to go in and get changed before we go to town. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, I wonder if that's pointed at me. <laughs> <laughs> me? No, yeah, I it mean. It seems like it know. might have been personal. <laughs> personal attack. Yeah, well. Mm. So, want some shade at me. well, it's a hot day. I figured you want some shade, right? Keeps mm -hmm. cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so anyways, over half the building stayed level. That's good. I haven't checked the front, but hey, I'm confident. Heather and I took our time, we put them in. So it should be all about as perfectly level as you can get it, I think. 
for a building that we just drilled the holes, dropped the posts in, didn't pack around it that much because we wanted the soil to, to wash in and settle on its own. And, uh, and it, you know, we cut, we put the boards along the top level and then we uh, cut them off. Uh, we still have to cut a few more posts off up there. You can see we didn't get all that. We got all the rest cut off. So we're gonna go around and trim that. Next step is do our piers, bring our gravel in, do our piers. So uh, and then that angle you seen us cut up here, we cut that angle up here at the start of uh, yesterday's video or the day before his video. That's going to get cut and that's going to get bolted to the top of those concrete piers. And uh, they're gonna get drilled and bolted into the concrete and they're gonna get bolted into the, the beams that go upright. Now what we'll do is we'll take some threaded rod and we'll bend it into like a, an L shape and we'll stick that in the concrete. And uh, once it's poured and we'll just set our angle down there. Uh, you'll see how we do that anyways. Uh, so anyways, moving, moving along. We got that done anyways, so that's good.